Hello everyone, I welcome you all to this channel and in this video we are going to discuss a very important chapter that is the spring. Okay, so in this video you will see what are the different classifications of spring, okay, what are the different categories of spring or um, we are also going to see that what are the different important formulas which are required to solve any kind of questions coming in the exam related to springs. Okay, so basically we know that spring is not a very important chapter if we talk about the competitive exams point of view uh, but in this video we will have a brief discussion on spring whatever required uh, to solve any questions coming in the exam we will all only discuss that part okay so if you see this video you can you will be able to solve any kind of questions coming in the exam so first of all if we talk about the classification of spring we can say that spring can be classified into two categories one is the helical spring other one is the leaf spring so if we talk about the exam point of view we can say that helical spring is the only important part you have to study and leaf spring is not at all important for the examination if we talk about the gate engineering service exams and other PSU exams right so uh, spring is uh, so helical spring is one of the part of the spring which you have to study now helical spring can be further classified into two categories one is the compression or the extens extension spring and other one is the storsional spring so firstly if we see what is the compression or the extension spring okay so here is a diagram of a spring here the small d is the wire diameter of the spring and capital D is the diameter of the coil or the coil diameter right and we are giving a force of F we are trying to compress the spring so this kind of spring is known as a compression spring okay now we have to remember this important formulas first of all what is the spring index it is given by C and it is nothing but the ratio of the wire diameter to that of the coil diameter so please remember that spring index C is equals to small d divided by the capital D now shear stress what is shear stress how you can find it shear stress is nothing but it is equals to KS which is the stress concentration factor shear stress concentration factor into 8F D 8F capital D divided by pi into small d q okay so KS will be given in the question if it is not given then please remember the formula for KS we can find by KS equals to 1 plus 1 divided by 2C where C is a spring index we have just seen we can find by C equals to D divided by small d divided by the capital D okay so please remember this term and uh, one more important point please note that that in case of compression spring compression or expansion extension spring the stress which is induced in the spring is nothing but the shear stress so it is very important many times questions are asked from this that in compression or extension spring which kind of stress is induced the answer will be the shear stress okay so please remember this thing and the next important formula is the deflection okay so here is a deflection so it is given by delta and it is, it, it is equals to 8 f dq into n divided by g into d to the power 4 so where n is the number active number of coils so what is active number of coils so it is not a very good diagram so i have drawn it over here so active number of coils is nothing but see here it is a spring and it is completing one circle over here right what complete rotation of the spring so it is one it is two times three and four so this is the active number of coils okay so whenever it is uh, completing one complete circle so that is called one active number of coils so here it, it is four active number of coils so in this way you can find the active number of coils okay so where g is the rigidity modu uh, modulus which uh, here okay so capital G is the rigidity modulus now what is the spring stiffness it is equals to F divided by the deflection so 4 divided by deflection so you can find it over here if you just remember this formula then you can find that F divided by delta that is the delta is coming over here so G d to the power 4 will be moving into that side and 8 d cube into n will be coming down so F by delta please remember that is equals to G d to the power 4 divided by 8f 8 dq n okay so what is compilence it is just the reverse here it is f by delta it is the reverse of the spring stiffness so here it will be delta divided by f 
so there will be so that will be g d to the power 4 divided by 8 t q n so please remember this formula these are very important and i, I can say these are more uh, more than important to solve any question coming in the uh, coming from spring okay now this was the compression of the extension extension spring now here it is one more spring which is the torsional spring so here, here it is the torsional spring okay so uh, here it is a torsional spring it is nothing but a spring while we are uh, twisting it right we are giving a twist over the spring so it is always in a twisting action so this is the torsional spring so the two important formulas please remember one it uh, it is asked that what is the torsional deflection of the spring which is the theta okay so theta equals to 64 m capital d into n divided by e d to the power 4 so please remember this formula where m is the torque or couple or the moment which will be given in the question and n is the num active number of course everything is same here e will be young's modulus right so it will be given in the question it is the material property so it will be given right and the next important formula is the spring stiffness for the torsional spring it is equals to m divided by theta so here from here also you can find it that m divided by theta therefore e d to the power 4 will be coming this side and m d uh, 664 d n will be coming down so m divided by theta is equals to e d to the power 4 divided by 64 d n so please remember these two important formulas okay so in spring this is more than enough i think so okay so i think that this video was helpful for you and uh, if you like this video please uh, click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel and uh, okay thank you